Hi everyone, my name is Christiana and I'm starting this channel today because I want to help everyone out there that has no idea how to do house arrest, also known as residential confinement, or has any information on their loved ones and bear with me, it's my first video so I'm pretty nervous and don't know how to do all these things yet. Anyways, who am I? I'm a convicted felon. I got sentenced to 5 to 15 years in prison back in 2014 for an accident. So my charge is DUI causing bodily substantial injury and or death. Then I spent two years on Scram device, which is an alcohol monitoring brace. And after that, uh, I got sentenced to January of 2016. And I spent one year in Florence McClure Correctional Facility, three years in Gene Conservation Camp here in Nevada, and my last year I spent in Casa Grande Transitional Housing, which is a work release program where you can go out in the real world, work, get back to social life, and go back in there. Kind of a dormitory, I guess. Now, this January, I applied for house arrest finally and I got approved. I got home in the end of February and I have been on two devices. My first device is this beautiful bracelet right here, my ankle, that goes everywhere with me. And my second device is called BARF, which is also known as breathalyzer. Now the breathalyzer looks like this. It has a little camera where it shoots your face every time when you take a test. It has a little thing to put your straw in, right here. And four times a day you need to do that. Why well, I decided to go record this video, oh, you guys, there is no truly valid information on these things. Um, hard to contact for on probation. Or if you're lucky to go through, the front desk can succeed to talk to some officer. They're basically just giving you the protocol answer, which doesn't give you any information. Many of us, as convict felons, are ashamed to show one another and ashamed to talk about the things. And it's a tremendous stress, exhaustion, mental anxiety and hardship to go through the process. But I'm here to help you. You may have friend, you may have a loved one, you may have even a parent that's in trouble. This is me. Here I am at my almost final stage of my sentence. I experienced it all. I went through the full round of emotional roller coaster, and I'm still trying to stay strong. And believe me, the prisoner's life, it's not like you see it on TV. There is no reality show and nothing that could prepare you for it. What is home arrest? It's a privilege that an inmate has to qualify for. The Nevada Residential Confinement Program, also known as the 305 program, it's how it's called, provides certain eligible offenders to be assigned to residential confinement, otherwise known as a house arrest, under supervision of the Division of Parole and Probation. The offender must meet certain qualifications and to be eligible for enrollment in residential confinement and must abide by certain restrictions while serving a term. Now, my term is 12 months, so I have to stay good for 12 months. Includes alcohol monitoring device, sometimes equipment to measure your alcohol content in the person's body. Costs for residential confinement are tremendously high. So, in order for you to even consider getting into this program, you need to make sure that you have either a sponsor or that you can do it on your own. Because once you cannot pay your um, fees every month, you go back. So one of the requirements is you must have a job or you must go to school. You have to be able to pay for all of these guys and I tell you, it's quite a big of a chunk of money. Main part of the approval of somebody signs and gradually is responsible for the expenses. House approval? What has to be the housing situation? All this in my next video. What the devices are involved? 
how do you use them? A lot of people that applied for this program did not do well because they did not know how to use the devices and the part. It's hard. Now, all the rules and regulations that I need to meet. Every two weeks I need to go to the office. Every two weeks I need to show them all the proofs, where I've been, what I've done. I even have a little paper right here that they give. And you need to write down where you go, what time you've been there, what time did you got there, what time you left. And finally, what kind of proof you have that you've been there, which is any type of receipt, business card, all that stuff. Do not miss that. Now, all these I will talk into detail one by one. But since this is my first video, I just want to give you a brief summary. And if you guys have any questions for me, please do feel free to ask me anything. I've been through it all. I'm determined success successfully to complete my residential confinement. Then I'm going on parole. But let me tell you, it is not easy. It's... um. It's not easy to get back to society. It's not easy to be confined for so many years and then they just let you out there. You need to figure out a lot of things and it's a lot of stress. I want to thank you for watching my channel and I will see you next week with all the requirements that you need to meet to apply for residential confinement first, okay? Bye, you guys. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.